Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to record a macro on a web page using Distill. Sometimes you'd need to perform a set of actions on a web page before you get to the view of the page that you intend to monitor. These actions will change the view of the web page. However, the URL will remain the same. In such cases, it might be difficult to create a straightforward monitor to track the view of the page that you intend to monitor. Macros allow you to record a sequence of actions like scrolling, button clicks, and form fill-ups on the page so that you land on a view that you actually want to monitor. Here I have an example of a page. Uh, this has all the government projects in the country of Canada. And you can see that this is the starting URL. The website also provides me the option to filter the projects. Let's say I want to look at projects in the year 2023. I'll apply the selected filters. Now you will see that the view of the page has changed. However, the URL remains the same. In such cases, you will need to perform these prior set of actions and land on this view of the page. For this, you will need to record a macro. So let me show you how to do that. First, copy the URL of the page. Go to the Distill web app. Click on the hamburger icon. Click macros, paste the URL of the page you copied and give the macro any name. I will call it Canada Government Projects and I'll click add new macro. Here Distill loads up the web page and you can perform the prior set of actions on the page. Let me wait for the page to load. Now that it's up, you can start recording your actions. In my case, I will scroll down, head over to the filters and choose 2023 and apply selected filters. You can see that on the right side, the actions are being recorded and the view of the page has changed. Now I'll click stop recording and save my macro. And now I'll set up a monitor for this page. For that, I will click on add monitor web page. Paste the same starting URL and click go. Here the visual selector loads. It also provides you the action uh, to choose a macro. So I will choose my Canada government projects macro. This will perform the prior set of actions to lead me to a view that I can track. I will go ahead and play the macro which has five recorded steps. You can see it perform it one by one. And here I want to track the entire feed. So I will go ahead and make that selection using my visual selector. So it has selected the entire feed. So I will go and save it. Now here I'm led to the options page where I can further configure my monitor. I can choose a device on which I want to run the checks on the page. Maybe even rename my monitor. I will schedule checks every one hour on the web page and choose an alert mode to be notified of any changes on the project feed. These options will depend on your subscription plan. Now I'll save my monitor. You will see it appear in your watch list. I will also show you how you can edit a macro. So use the hamburger icon to navigate back to the macros page. Here you will see your macro appear. If you want to take a look at the recorded actions, just click on open recorder and click on replay to view the set of actions. You can see it go through it one by one. If you want to add additional steps, just click on start recording and perform the set of actions that you need to land on a view and click on save. Now, since I don't have any additional steps to record, I'll just uh, cancel and head back to my macros page. 
Here you can even delete a macro. Uh, you can do this by just clicking the bin icon to delete the macro. There is another way to even import a macro. We will cover this in another video. I'll leave a link to it in the description. I hope this helps you track pages where you'll need to perform prior actions.